So evolution is a very complex issue, believe it or not. Now, by the way, I don't have a particular axe to grind. I happen to believe in God, and my position for most of my life was, okay, God created evolution. I have no issue. But it's not my position any longer because I simply know more science. And the, the science on evolution is not nearly as established as people think it is. Because so, the, the, the paleontologists themselves are not so certain that it occurred in anywhere near the way they believe it did. I know a few paleontologists, and what you just said is completely false. And I can list paleontologists who will say so. If this were a two-way conversation, I would call you out for a paleontologist who agrees with your statement. And if you dared name someone, I would find that person and then find out that he didn't agree with you at all. Two, two quick things on that. Sure. One is, of course, I, I just, it just needs to be stated that evolution has zero explanation, I mean zero, none, for the creation of life. Because that is not evolution, that's abiogenesis, an overlapping array of different processes and descent with inherent genetic modification obviously can't be prevalent among them. There is no, there is no evolutionary jump between inorganic and organic. And, and they acknowledge that. They just say one day they'll find one, but there isn't one. The origin of life was always a matter of organic chemistry, of complex carbon chains. It was never inorganic. So th the evolutionist has nothing to say about the origin of life. Wrong again, as always. What we can say is that we know a whole lot more about it than you're aware of or would likely admit. I made a classroom supplement video to explain it to middle schoolers. You should watch that and see that we do have quite a good explanation, actually.